Hey everybody, welcome back to VGC Series 12. Um, in many ways the first episode, but I guess the first episode was technically the, uh, the rules recap yesterday. I'm gonna try and be quiet a little, because my wife is still sleeping, we don't wanna wake her up, you know, she deserves her rest. But we're probably gonna wake her up anyway, so sorry in advance if you, uh, if you ever watch this, my wonderful wife. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do. Um... So today, we're going to cover our first Series 12 team. This is one I've been working on. I actually haven't gotten to play as much as I would like. But I think it's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and show it off to you guys. Um, it's a Kyogre Calyrex Ice team. And I think that Kyogre plus like Slow Restricted is really, really solid. I couldn't get Kyogre's as you seen to work for me. But people have told me that it's really good. So this is kind of like that. Except you have the Trick Room option. Since there's going to be a lot of fast Pokemon really offensive stuff at the beginning of the format. This is going to kind of take advantage of that and flip the expectation on its head. So, um, this is also a variation of a team that I made already, and you'll, you'll understand that in a second. So we're running Kyogre with Mystic Water, Water Spout Protects called Ice Beam. Um, we're only running just enough speed to outspeed Caloric Shadow with our Tailwind, um, if we decide to go the Tailwind route. We're running Tornadoes, Focus Sash, Prankster, Tailwind Protect, Hurricane, Icy Wind. Um, this is probably, we'll, we'll never bring it unless we like find ourselves in a position where it'd be really advantageous to just go for Tailwind. Most of the time we're going to run Trick Room. We get Calyx Ice with a Life Orb. Um, we're running Glacial Lance Protect, Trick Room, High Horsepower. Um, I went for Life Orb instead of Weakness Policy because I don't have a way to trigger a Weakness Policy. I don't want to leave myself in a situation where like, I can't... <sighs> I just woke up where I can't trigger my own weakness policy and like I'm not hitting hard enough So I went life orb for some immediate damage Um safety goggles and Didi that helps deal with like Amoongus. I don't know how good Amoongus is in this format But it's probably you know still pretty good Um and also just redirection for helping us get up trick room etc uh, Running Incineroar because Incineroar it's, it seems like it's just gonna be a great mod in this format a lot of the restricteds that are going to see play that weren't seeing play before are physical attackers that can be intimidated, so Incineroar. And I'm running the Entrainment, <laughs> the Entrainment Water Bubble Araquanid um, for, you know, Water Bubble shenanigans. We'll see if we get to get it off, but the Araquanid alone is just really solid. Um, none of the restricted Pokemon can really take a one-hit KO on it, except maybe Yveltal if they go for Airstream, but other than that, you survive pretty much any one-hit and then you hit back really hard with Liquidation of the Rain. It's really cool. Um, so that's the team. If you like the video guys, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Um, tell me what you think about this team. Tell me what you're testing out in Series 11. I'm sorry. Tell me what you're testing out in Series 12. Um, and then consider subscribing. We're getting really, really close to 300. I'm at 291 as of the recording of this video. Um, help me get to 300 and beyond, you know. If you like what you see, you might as well stick around, right? Um, okay, let's jump into some battles here. Hopefully it goes okay. And um, I don't make a fool of myself in front of God and my subscribers. Okay, Colossal is very interesting. It's Aqua Jet, so we're not going to be able to like Tailwind around it. Um, but honestly, I think leading redirection here is probably fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and go... I'm just gonna go Calyrex and DD here. I'll bring Kyogre in the back, and I think I'm just gonna bring Araquid into the back, to be honest with you. Um, Incinera is probably, would probably be good, but we'll see what they lead, I guess. Whew. The Araquid does have Wide Guard, which has been so good in a lot of situations where I've gotten to play this team. Um, it's good in front of Kyogre, and it's good in front of both Calyrexes, and I don't, nobody ever really sees it coming, so maybe we'll, we'll get Wide Guard off here. I'm not expecting them to lead Cold Urshifu, but honestly, I feel like that's the best possible lead for us. Um, because we can deny their setup and get Trick Room up and then just be better than them under Trick Room. <sighs> um, I think what's the worst possible lead? Probably Fake Out plus Zacian. Or this is, yeah, this is pretty bad too. Um, how well do I take this is going to be the question here. I know I take an Astral Barrage, but like, how well do I take an Astral Barrage, right? I'm just gonna go for it. Let's see what they do here. Astral Barrage, how well do we take it? Oh, 
not very well enough though you know like it works it'll work I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch I think actually I don't expect them to keep to attack with Calyrex this turn I'm gonna go and switch into Kyogre here and just um yeah I'll just follow me again for the Rillaboom okay what does Calyrex do though perfect water spout um should just ko if they let us i'm gonna go ahead and switch into a requinin now we can only really get one attack off with our calyrex <laughs> i played a little recklessly but i think we'll be okay they can't really stop this so They can't they can't really do anything to stop this like they can obviously they can like, just like switch Rillaboom in here but which they'll probably just protect Zacy and switch Rillaboom in but um that doesn't get them out of this situation it just gives them an option you know what I mean they don't switch how much do we do here to this Calyrex they probably do they take it yeah what did they do they quaked oh that's a big mistake my friend Wait, <laughs> we're gonna get the entrainment off. We're gonna get the entrainment off. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um, with the entrainment, this is just gonna KO anyway. That quake was really dumb. They probably thought I was gonna follow me. Yeah, you should have attacked Kyogre. That was a bad move. I would have targeted Kyogre anyway, if I was expecting follow me. Because it's the better Pokemon to hit. Oof. I am sorry. How much does this do? <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. Okay, let me... Think here. Oh, they just give up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get another battle. Ah, oh, jeez. I hope I don't sound weird because I'm whispering. It's also morning voice. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Do I want to go... I kind of want to just go like Calyrex or Raquinid, to be honest. Let's do that. Um, And then we run Kyogre in the back, and... Sin. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Um, they're gonna yawn me, huh? I could just protect Calyrex this turn. Max it, like, next turn. Or, or I go for the Trick Room. What do I think? Are they gonna Sleep Powder? I don't know. I'm just gonna Leech Life Umbreon. They go for Sleep Powder and Foul Play. Okay. Very scary. I don't like Sleep Powder. Very not nice. Um, I'll switch to Incin here. And then... This actually does more damage. <laughs> Liquidation. It might KO. Oh, what a jerk. What a jerk. You are absolutely a jerk. How dare you? I hate Venusaur. Sleep Powder is too good. It doesn't deserve it. They're gonna KO and sin with that. Oh, that sucks so bad. Ooh, but I wake up. All right, we're we are in the driver's seat here. I wanna go ahead and just max Hailstorm here. That should KO, I think. And I'll go for a Leech Life because I'm probably gonna need some HP. Vine Lash. We should take that. We take it very well. We take that pretty well, too. KO. KO. Oh, yeah. And an attack boost. Very good for us. 
Okay, what's the plan here? I think I'm gonna go Hailstorm and a Groudon and go for a Wide Guard. Let's see what they do. Ooh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Araquanid is too good. You cannot stop it. I'm gonna just wide guard again. I have no reason not to. Yeah, let's just Asperage again. <laughs> GG's, my dude. Rest in peace. Alright, y'all. Araquanid is too good. Araquanid cannot be stopped. <coughs> Araquanid just won us two games. Um, okay, another Trick Room team, but they have a Tailwind option, so this might be Max Speed Calyrex. Hmm. So, what does that mean? I think I want... Hmm. Do I want Incin or Araquanid? I have a tough choice. I'm gonna go Araquanid. It just won us two other games. Really, like, we might as well. Okay, they can't fake us out this turn. Um, straight up, just Trick Room. Follow me. There's no reason to do anything else. That Intimidate kind of sucks, but it'll be alright. Um... I think this Thunderous is probably just gonna taunt. Oh no? It's uh it's Defiant Thunderous. Okay. Take away terrain, that's fine. I don't get the KO, it's life orb. Okay. Bird to Urshifu Rapid Strike. We get the Trick Room off, that's great. Can I KO this Thunderous? Let's see if we can. Oh, I get another intimidate off. Oh we get the KO anyway. Who cares? Jeez Louise. Calyrex hits so hard. I am minimum speed. Okay. I wasn't sure if I would put minimum speed or not. Um, well, I mean, like... I'm just gonna Quake here. I'm gonna... Switch into Kyogre, I think, honestly. In that case, let me... Yeah, let me let me quick Urshifu switch into Kyogre. Perfect. I don't really care about the parting shot. You go ahead, buddy. I hope you're having a good time because that Ensign can't switch in anymore. Oh, that Ensign definitely can't switch in anymore. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna quick again. Um, I'll quick the Zacian slot this time though. Cool. We have one more turn at Trick Room too, and they can't. I mean, well, they can. Um, hmm. I'm gonna just switch to a DD, go for the water spell. Honestly, yeah, I think that's my best play. Oh, we win. Yeah, that was the best play. No fake out. I forgot I still had Indeedee. This team's so good. I'm having so much fun with this team. <laughs> Why is Kyogre so good? <laughs> I ask myself that question all the time. Oh, man. <coughs> I didn't grab myself any water before I started. You guys are supposed to remind me. Why did you guys stop reminding me to grab water? Okay, um, hmm. No, like, honestly, but, like, how do they, how do they stop Trick Room? They just don't. Yeah, they just don't stop Trick Room. They don't have a great way to, like, they could just leave Yveltal and just ignore it, I guess. Like, go, just go Yveltal and Sin, but, like, that's fine. Incinera is like a little annoying, but you saw like it didn't really do anything. That's why that's why Kyogre is so good with these slower physical or stricken mines, because it just deals with Incineroar. And it's your best option for sun. Or for rain. 
because objectively Kyogre is the best range setter in the game. And since you can run it, why would you run it over like Politoed or anything if you have the availability, right? Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a lead. Um, does Ndidi take a Behemoth Blade? I guess we're gonna hope that it does, right? They switch to Incem and substitute. Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Um, do you think the Zacian just protects this turn? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna click into it, I guess. And I'll switch to Kyogre. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's bring a Raquinid in now. I'm gonna just do this. Uh, yeah, I don't want the Incineroar to, to be able to switch out. I'm just gonna do this. This is my best bet. I don't want it to be able to parting shot me, so I'll just liquidation it so it gets KO'd before. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let's see how much this does, because this Evolto is about to Dynamax in front of me. How much damage do we do? I feel like we're going to do a disgusting amount of damage. <coughs> They'd have to be running like no speed on their Velto to, to underspeed us, which is possible. It's definitely possible. <laughs> oh no, you're in trouble. Let me think about this. Let me think. Um, I'm going to max here and just go for Scald. Is it AV? It is AV. We should KO, I think. I hope. Oh, yeah. <coughs> GG's, man. G big GG's. It goes down to the Scald. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get the Entrainment off so many times. That's really funny. I think we got time for like two or three more. <laughs> that Entrainment, though. That power boost is too good. Ooh, it's it's a good old Zerndon team. Is it 2016 again? Is this even good right now? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna just do this. Yeah. yeah. They have Charizard, but they'd have to lead the Charizard, right? I'll bring Kyogre in the back, and I think I'm just gonna bring a Raquin in. Like, that feels like the best choice. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, gosh. If they lead this Charizard, we'll be in trouble, but, like, honestly, I don't think they will. Because they can just heat wave, but nobody's thought of that yet when I'm facing down Charizard. That's why I only let a Raquin in the other game. That way I could just wide guard. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't. They could lead Charizard. It's their best lead, but we could just switch Kyogre in. And as long as they're not running Sunny Day on the Whimsicott. Yeah. They're thinking about it. We got a weird team. I tested a couple of things before this. Um, this is the only one that worked for me. So I'm probably going to have... I'm, I'm glad I'm using this to understand the format. <clears throat> I know it's been my strategy for a couple of formats now. Just play a Kyogre team at the beginning of the format. But it's been working for me, so... I'm probably playing more games in this video than I've played already with this team. I only played a few and it just felt really good, so I decided to just make the video, you know? They're taking a long time. I'm a test bot? Does that mean it's like a bot bot? Like, not a person? If it's a bot, why does it need to think so hard, you know? It shouldn't, <clears throat> is the answer. Hello? Is there anybody out there? They lead Zerndon, that means that they ran out of time, right? <clears throat> oh. 
Oh, they ran out of time. They're not here. Um, okay, well. Then I'm just gonna... Should I? Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. <coughs> I guess they're not here. They're not paying attention. Even if they press his blades, Dazzling Gleam here, we should be fine, I think. I don't know, actually. Maybe I should have just maxed and gone for Glacial Wolf for, for max ice move. Oh, they give up. Works for me. <laughs> Oops. You know, maybe Series 12 isn't so bad. I still don't forgive it for not giving us Sinomons, but maybe it's not so bad. Um, Kyogre's scary, huh? What do I do here? <clears throat> hmm. I think I'm gonna lead. Ah, oh, the Reggie Lecky is scary too. Are they gonna lead a Lecky? I really don't know what I want to lead here. If they lead the Kyogre, we're kind of in a bad spot. Let's do this, and then bring Didi in the back, and Kyogre in the back. Okay, they just lead a Lecky Tornado, so we made the wrong move here. Big wrong move. Um, let me go ahead and just... <clears throat> Let me just protect, switch to Indeedy this turn. I don't know. Are they gonna tar double target Calyrex? Let's just do that. Okay, they didn't target Calyrex at all. They went for Tailwind, so I had a free trick room. Definitely a little bit of a mistake there. So now they can switch into Kyogre for free. But they don't. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna trick room. And now I just bring Kyogre in, and we win. What are they gonna do? Glacial Lance Water Spell. <coughs> Neither of these mons get wide guard. Zamazenta gets wide guard, but Zacian is not Zamazenta, as has been pointed out many a time. That's why Zamazenta is no good. Goodbye, Tornadus. I don't think they can win anymore. Even if Kyogre's in the back, I don't think they can win. Kyogre might go down to Water Spout Glacial Lance at this point. I guess they could max it, but... I still have my Dynamax, too. <coughs> Gosh, I am so sorry. Yeah, I don't know what they do in this situation. Um, What do I want to do here? I think I'm just gonna Glacial Lance Water Spout, to be honest. That feels so good. They just protect, yeah, that's fine. Goodbye, Zacian. They're not gonna be able to stall out the Trick Room. <laughs> Glacial Lance did 64%. That's crazy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, in the, in the interest of uh, going to drink some water, I'm gonna cut the video off here. <laughs> Uh, if you like the video, everybody, make sure you leave a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you thought of the team, tell me what teams you're using in Series 12 so far. Um, and like I said, consider subscribing, especially if you're here at the end of the video. If you watched all the way through, obviously, you saw something you liked. Join the join the Andy La fan base. Uh, <laughs> We're getting really close to 300 subscribers, so you know, every, every little person counts. Anyway guys, my name's Andrew, I'll catch you guys next time.